Feedstock is crucial um, in the biodiesel production sequence. Um, uh, that's something the industry learned the hard way um, in, during the recent gas crisis of uh, 2008. Um, you had a run on every available feedstock for biodiesel and you know, we, had, we were typically seeing price points between 18 and 24 cents a pound for usable feedstocks. Well, these prices doubled and in some cases even tripled in the summer of 2008. Um, which meant that even with the nice dollar a gallon tax credit from the federal government, most small to medium sized producers went out of business because they just could not handle that variability in feedstock costs. Um, you know, in terms of your other key ingredients, your methanol and your sodium hydroxide, these, these commodities don't fluctuate near as much. Methanol tends to get more expensive in the fall, but overall you can kind of budget for that. Um, other things to take into account, uh, your local fire code regulations, your local zoning regulations. Um, fire is a big one. They're going to want uh, separate containment in uh, each different stage of the production line, um, isolated with a, a two-hour firewall typically. You're going to need sprinkler systems and so forth, um, you know, the appropriate fire extinguishers and things of that nature. Um, Zoning is crucial. Um, we've found that out the hard way. Um, basically, you need heavy duty industrial zoning to uh, deal with the chemicals that are gonna be on site, the storage volumes, and potentially any uh, emissions issues from production. Distribution is a very uh, interesting game. Uh, it is dominated by big, big industry. Um, Typically, distributors make between one and two to three pennies per gallon on their product that they distribute. Um, so that's one thing to take into account. The other thing is the uh, absolute uh, um, unimaginable amount of paperwork that comes from the state and federal governments. You have to become registered as a fuel provider. You have to file taxes with the state and federal governments. You have to um, apply for your tax credits. If they apply, they typically are taken by the producers, but in the event that they're not, you can claim a portion of that. Um, you basically need to register with a lot of people before you start selling fuel to the general public. And um, you need to have a tank that's weights and measures certified for accuracy. Um, uh, here again, fire code inspections are always crucial. Um, uh, CDL. The good thing, the one good thing though, is that biodiesel is not considered a hazardous material. So you have the ability to have just a basic commercial driver's license to drive the fuel around town. You don't need hazardous materials training.